And now Evgeny Shukov of Russia. Let's see if Zhukov can hit this routine. The Russians have struggled all week long on high bar. This is where in the team competition, they began to collapse. Nice double over the bar. We'll do another one. This one with a full twist and perfectly done. Wow. Very aggressive. Plenty of difficulty. Let's see if he can make this landing. He does! Nice. Now, a lot of other gymnasts added one more twist onto that dismount. He had enough difficulty in the exercise without it, so he chose to go for a little bit of a safer dismount, but one he could stick. Look at the power you have to generate to do this double over the bar with a full twist. Watch his head. He starts looking for the bar right here, saying, there it is, there it is, there it is. OK, come on, get around. And the trick is to catch and swing smoothly out of it. Nice. Nice indeed, 9562. He's currently in second place behind Yanni Tanskaden. Coming up, Ivan Ivankov. He's already won bronze tonight on the rings. What about the high bar? We'll find out after this message and a word from our ABC stations on ABC Saturday night. Back to the high bar, five foot eight, Jesus Caballo of Spain. You'll see why he won the world championships last year on this event. His long body and very clever combinations. Reminds American gymnastics fans of Trent Demas, who won the gold in Barcelona for the United States. Watch these moves. He invented this and the combination with a release. Oh, sweet, right to handstand. He's got the stuff. What about this landing? What about it? It's a shame he couldn't just hold on to that landing because I believe that routine had enough to get the gold medal. But boy, those little bobbles are going to cost him. Juan Antonio Samaranch of the International Olympic Committee here watching the competition. This is the headquarters for the IOC. Mr. Samaranch comes originally from Spain, so it's nice he's cheering on his countrymen as well. I don't know what you think, Bart. I kind of like this routine better. It's clean, unique, and interesting. Beautiful form. And look how high above the bar he goes. It's too bad he bobbled the landing, otherwise he could get a great score there. Well, 9675, so he still trails, who's sitting right there, the leader, Yanni Tanskanen of Finland. Ivan Ivankov now on the high bar. Already has three medals in this championship. Here's a chance for him to cap off what has been a spectacular week. He's getting lifted up to the bar by his longtime coach, Viktor Doilidov. Ivankov will do three of those double somersaulting moves over the bar. The first one will be in the tuck position. Nice. Oh, he did oh. two in a row. Oh. That's new for the final. Where'd that come from? Well, as we said, now he may pike this one. Let's see what he does. Oh, oh. 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 man. My goodness. Oh. So he hit hard. That had to jar him. I was afraid he was going to come down on the bar. Oh, he did. Oh, he he's the lucky. He's very lucky he didn't catch that with his chin. Whew. Now he changed his routine. Normally he does one and then swings into the Giants and does another one, the second one being laid out. Because I he did two in a row, he got flustered. He made a turn, a pirouette, and did the third one going the opposite direction than he normally does. His timing was totally off. I've never seen him do two in a row. He wouldn't just decide last second no, to throw no, that. No, certainly. <laughs> He's been a huge crowd favorite here, not only because of his championship, but people know 
his comeback story after last year's torn Achilles tendon. Certainly he has no chance at a medal here, but I think a lot of people are going to be happy that he's okay. That's right, rooting for him anyway. You saw the torn skin under his left underarm. That was from parallel bars. He's taken a beating this week. Oh, I cringe to see this again. Let's see exactly what happened. He's completely on top of the bar. Hits his chest and I believe might have gotten his chin going by. From the side, you can see how lucky he was that he didn't get hurt worse. Look at that. He caught it basically with his armpits. Hmm. Man. His score, 8 7 6 two. Look there, getting some words of comfort from his countryman, Vitaly Sherba. Sherba, the most meddled gymnast in history. Of course, originally from Belarus, too. And now Alexander Beresh of Ukraine on the high bar. Well, we've seen a lot of wild things tonight in the high bar. A lot of dangerous moves, a lot of tricky combinations. Barish has some interesting elements, too. Here comes his double over the bar. Oh, nicely done. Very clean. He has such a long, stretched body. Everything is so beautiful. All those in-bar elements like that Stalder and Pirouette, those earn him bonus points. Here we go. Nice and landing. That's nice. probably the best landing of the night. Let's take a look at that dismount. That's a double twisting, double flyaway laid out, and he finished so early he had plenty of time to just drill it into the floor. Let's take a look at his score. 9625. Good enough for the bronze medal. So that means Tonskinen, Yanni Tonskinen of Finland, has won the gold medal. Again, the first medal for Finland in the World Championships since 1950, which happened to be the last time also that the championships were held here in Switzerland. So congratulations to Finland's Yanni Tonskinen. Jesus Carballo of Spain finishes second. Buresh. Now to the women's floor exercise, and what specific elements will the judges be looking for, Kathy? Well, there are seven special requirements, but let's take a look at a few. The gymnast must perform at least two tumbling passes. One pass must have a forward and backward somersault, and she must also do a series of at least three dance leaps or jumps. Now for bonus points, keep an eye out for rebounding or back-to-back -back skills. This allows the gymnast to earn direct connection bonus points. For instance, this pass could earn five-tenths of a point bonus. With this music and choreography, the women's floor exercise can be quite enchanting. Here's 16-year-old Meng Fei of China. She's a member of the 95 World Championship team, winning the silver medal with the Chinese team.
machine when many of the gymnasts are just doing series of poses and calling a dance. She does real choreography. Beautiful footwork. Lovely. Many of the gymnasts, in, in an effort to get bonus points in their dance elements, pick skills that actually don't fit the flow and the style of the routine, like the moves that plop down on their stomach abruptly. She gets her bonus elsewhere and then does these lovely leaps that actually fits the music and the style and elegance of the routine. One of the ways she gets bonus points, and it's kind of a loophole in the code of points, is a pike double back, not particularly hard, but it somehow survived this code and actually gets her a tenth of a point bonus here. And she does it beautifully. She does. And Meng Fei's score, 9675. We'll have to see if that will hold up for a medal or not.